What's up everyone, Carter here, and today I get the opportunity to interview a seven-figure Amazon seller, Ty Blunt, and today he's going to talk more about a business model on Amazon that he's using that has allowed him to scale from, what was it, zero to $230,000 in a month, in, in what, less than eight months, um, and a business model that not many people are utilizing right now, and that's allowing him to make some insane profit margins. I'll let him do all the talking. So once again, Ty, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come on this interview. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, Carter. Thanks for the, thanks for the hype up, too. It makes it sound pretty damn good, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we do um, eBay to Amazon or Marketplace to Marketplace Arbitrage. We went from zero to three on top of that. We went from zero to $230,000 in sales in eight months. And that's per month um, with a $95,000 profit margin. Um, so as we talk, uh, we're going to go through um, so you know even Amazon, you know the potential for it, uh, and the margin there is after like massive. <laughs> for even even for our monthly sales, right? Most people don't have that much profit margin on Amazon. I mean, yeah, that's amazing because like I've been in the whole Amazon, you know, business. I tried all different business models. Like margin is a huge thing. Like that's that's the money that's going back into your pocket. And you mentioned out of that two hundred thirty thousand, you had like a ninety five or like what was it? What was it? Uh, you made like ninety five thousand in profit. Yep. Which yeah, like what what percentage is that? Um, damn, what is it? Probably like forty percent, something like that. It's pretty damn high. I mean, that is a really good. Like you, you look at the private label or wholesale, and you see people posting big numbers out there, but they're doing like 15 percent profit margin, which is still okay. But then you're out here doing double, you know, almost triple with a forty to fifty percent profit margin. And on some products, I imagine you, you get anywhere from a two hundred thousand plus profit margin. It really just depends. Yep, dude, we've bought in things for 10 bucks that have sold for a few hundred, right? I picked up a uh, industrial <laughs> scientific product that you guys can check out. Um, I bought it for 40 bucks and it sold for 380 yesterday. We, so we bought we bought 10 of them too. So that kind of profit margin is what we're looking for. Um, and that's the margin you can get on Markwise to Markwise arbitrage. Yeah, that is, that is insane. Do you want to talk a little bit more about where exactly you're getting your products? Because I know there's you know, there's the local marketplaces, there's eBay, which you guys have really been able to scale upon. Um, where would you recommend maybe a beginner, someone that's looking to start an Amazon reselling business, maybe doesn't have much money to start with, you know, where exactly should they be looking to find the best deals? No, great question, man. So this, first off, this model is the best for beginners because you don't need a massive upfront like um, cost, right? You don't yep. need to buy a thousand products from China or buy a thousand MOQ, minimum order quantity. Mm -hmm for um, a wholesale order. So you can buy one-offs here and there. To answer the question, where do we buy it on? We buy it on marketplaces. So if you look at the overall, like kind of goes, this kind of goes more of an advanced topic, but if you look at the overall like view of the markets, each market has different prices and you can actually arbitrage between those markets pretty well. So we buy on everything between eBay, Macari, OfferUp. Those are the ones we can ship and market and Facebook marketplace shift. We can also let go, um, uh, there's some other ones out there. Uh, Poshmark, if you do clothes, you can find some good. Um, yeah. you can find some good Facebook Marketplace stuff. offer up, I think. There, there, there's a bunch of different ones. So, I mean, what kind of products are you looking for? Because I get this question all the time. I'm sure every Amazon seller gets it. Everyone's like, you know, what products are you selling? You don't have to specifically tell what products, but what categories, um, you know, have you had the best success with? Yeah, see, the beauty of it is there is it's kind of more opportunistic. Um, we do everything. So recently, as we talked about, um, Amazon FBA, and today is uh, April 9th. Um, they're still on mostly restricted essentials mm -hmm. only. Um, so we actually had to shift our whole business model from we were doing mostly electronics and home and kitchen. Um, now we had to shift the business model to own mostly um, essentials only, which is beauty, personal care, health and household, um, those kind of ones. So you can, you can go wherever you want and wherever the margin takes you. Um, the one thing with the, with the essentials only, it's a lot, um, the prices are becoming smaller. We still get the same margin, but we have to buy more quantity. That's the only okay. that's difference. So to answer the question, it's, it's anywhere. There's so much opportunity right now that it's anywhere and everywhere. That is that is insane. So I mean, you went from zero to two hundred thirty thousand dollars per month in eight months. You know, some people out there are already Amazon sellers that are watching. You know, my content. They want to learn how to scale. Maybe they're making decent money, but they want to learn how to make great money. What was a couple of things you implemented that took your business from like month one to month three revenue 
to $230,000 in a month on Amazon. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I ran on, I, we ran on no money just in credit cards for the longest time. The beauty of it is it, it, it sells through fast. Like we have a 47 day sell through. That's kind of yeah, that is, right? so pretty good. It moves very fast. So um, we use that credit card. So we did $30,000 the first month and then it went to like 50 then it dropped back down to 30. And then at that point, we built some software on top. Um, it's not a pitch. Like, I don't, we don't need to pitch you. You can look it up if you want. So, um, built some software on top, and we got a, a $60,000 PayPal loan. Um, and then we went from 85. And the next month, we did 85. And then we did um, 160 or 180, 190, and then 230 in January. Man, that is that is insane. And I would tie and I talked behind the scenes a little bit, but he's built his own software to help him find more Amazon products. Like the dude is an absolute whiz. And I've been experimenting with his software. Um, I might make a video potentially in the future because I've got some great results for it. It just kind of speeds up the process. But um, if you had to get some advice to a beginner, because I have quite a few beginners that watch my content, Amazon is a, it's a great opportunity to start right now. Am I right? I mean, there are, all, there's a lot less sellers. Even with FBA only accepting essentials, first off, it's only going to be for a matter of time before they hire more employees. But still, merchant fulfilled, like you're still getting a ton of orders. Am I right? They're getting a ton of orders. And actually, yesterday, just an update because um, we talked a couple. We talked uh, earlier yesterday as well. Um, yesterday, actually, a lot of our products are going FBA now that were restricted beforehand. So it's kind of they're already loosening up the grips. And I was doing some research on that topic and. Um, because they partner with USPS and mm -hmm. UPS again, they're going backwards because they were they went completely Dang. by themselves for a while. So now they're starting to open up more um, uh, SKUs and more opportunity in the FBA section. But to answer the question on what's good for beginners, there's two things that are very, very good and very, very easy to find now. Um, I know you buy used items. Um, I would say used items are one of the biggest opportunities right now because the margin is absolutely massive. You can find <laughs> yes. It, it's not it's not rare to find a hundred to two hundred percent item right oh. that you're gonna double or triple your money. You can find them all day long. Yeah, that's the beauty. Like nowhere else can you do that. So I would say use items are gonna be the easiest <laughs> to do because um, when you get to new, you're competing with me, and obviously you have a team behind me, um, and myself was, we're the ones who kind of like started this thing. Um, but uh, I would go use first, and a great way to do it is also use video games. Um, I know a guy that did uh, ninety-five thousand dollars last month by processing <laughs> new uh, used video games. On he buys them on eBay in bulk, and then um, processes them through, makes sure that they're good, and then sends them out to Amazon FBA. And they were they scaled so fast. I mean, basically, you're saying there's a massive opportunity. That's one of the big reasons I wanted to bring you on my channel, just because. This is a model that not many people are talking about. Basically, it's reselling, but on steroids to where it's a, at a scalable point. And a lot of people want to start an Amazon business. They see the opportunity. They see that everyone in their mom and their dog is buying stuff on Amazon right now. You know, they, they want to take a portion of that. And, you know, why take the big risk and, you know, invest a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars up front when you can start with two, three hundred dollars, you know? and start getting higher profit margins. That's also one of the things you can start with a lower amount of money and sell these products for 50, hundred percent, 200 percent ROI. Like you don't see those kind of margins in other businesses. So, and you have been able to scale it from zero to $230,000 in eight months, in a month. Like it's, it's just absolutely mind blowing. All right, so Carter, I know you have done the marketplace, marketplace. What has been your success so far? Because you're one of the few early adopters. That's why I jumped on this thing. That's why I contacted you. You're one of the first early adopters. So what's been your process and how has your experience been so far? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been really good because like I've tried other business models. I've had private label. I had success. But there was just, the thing about reselling is it's so easy. Like I'm not having to purchase, you know, 500 units of a product at $5 a piece and, you know, drop 2500 to three grand after product cost and shipping. Like I'm able to go out and oh my gosh here's a dvd player at ten dollars at goodwill and it sells for two hundred dollars on amazon so that means if i could find ten more of these at ten dollars and sell them for two hundred dollars a piece that's two grand and then it, the the my mind just started turning and that's when i started watching more of your content um because i, I want to scale it and you were one of the only few people out there that's really putting content out there that's doing this i'm sure some other people are but not many people and what i learned is that okay if i can find this panasonic vcr at a goodwill for ten dollars and sell it for 200 well I, what i did know is i can buy that exact model number panasonic vcr for 
$70 on eBay, and I'll still be able to sell it on Amazon for $200. Even though my margins are a little bit lower, it's scalable. It is more than scalable. $70 to $200, I'll take that all day long. That's why I wanted to bring you on here because you've mastered the beginning portion of reselling, which I think is the hardest thing to learn. Like for people to learn how to use the Amazon platform, how to use FBA and how to, you know, just process items and purchase. Once you get that process down, scaling from a thousand to ten thousand dollars is a lot easier than making your first thousand dollars. And you are a perfect example of that. Once you got the hang of it, the only thing was just what was it was cash flow for you, right? Like you were finding so many profitable items that you were spending all of the cash you had. And I mean, you would just sell it over that 47, 47 day on average turnaround period. And then you put more money into it because you know the stuff that's, you know, it's going to sell. It's just a matter of when. Um, and that's why exactly what I want to bring you on this interview, because this is the best business model out there right now. Like it is so undervalued and not, no one's really talking about it. like there's no there's not really many marketplace to marketplace or eBay to Amazon flip videos on YouTube. Like I know you've posted some content. I've posted maybe a like few on it. Um, but I definitely want to post more because it's it's a business model that a beginner can start, even an intermediate seller. Like if they're trying another business model, like I, I had a, a buddy of mine, you know, he was trying private label. He lost like two thousand dollars just on, on a product that was just too competitive. It was a bad buy. I'm like, hey man, you sh you got to try out reselling. Just you know, start small and grow it. And it's now his full time business, and uh, he makes a, some really good amount of money with it. So I always have to ask this question because when it comes to reselling. Every once in a while, you find a product for just so cheap and it sells for like in an absurd, absurd price. Like I remember um, I had a buddy that I taught reselling to Amazon in high school and he ended up buying a book for a dollar and sold it for $365 on Amazon. Like just absolutely absurd. So, I mean, you've been in for eight months. You've sold thousands and thousands of units. Like what has been your your best find or the best product that you found yet that has just made you an absurd amount of money. Yeah, so our best product we're actually still buying right now. And uh, I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll give the viewers a good tip. We actually are buying internationally now, um, and there's a lot more margin we made. Um, and uh, I, saw, I saw a look in your face. Let <laughs> like, me let me go write that down real quick. <laughs> yeah. So we're buying this product. Um, we're buying about uh, 200 units a month on it. Uh, we buy it for 50 bucks, and it sells for 200 dollars. And they sell between 100 and 200 units a month. Um, <laughs> so you, you can you can do the math there. So like 150 bucks times it by 100, right? So you, we net out 15 thousand dollars profit profit on this one product. And we have and I, I can I can just continuously buy it over and over, <laughs> and, over again. and it's on eBay, guys. Man, you, you don't want to tell us the product? No, no. It's not. <laughs> uh, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. But that is, that is awesome. That's why I love the reselling business model because, I mean, it's it's almost like you're buying other people's trash and turning it into treasure or whatever that phrase is. Like you're, it's the, the model is super simple. Buy low, sell high, and in between you make a profit. Like there's – you don't have to be a rocket scientist to perfect this business, but you do have to put some strategy and able to scale it, and that's exactly what you've done. So before we end the interview, is there any other, you know, tips or advice that you would give to someone that wants to, you know, get into the eBay and Amazon flips and just wants to really scale their Amazon reselling business overall? Yeah, right now, honestly, um, I'd use, um, even I'm using actually Macari a lot right now. Okay. I've been testing it out pretty hard um, and uh, offer up shipped. Um, again, I want things shipped to me. I want to save my time. Um, so those are probably the two biggest ones. Uh, Macari has great, it's like, Macari reminds me of eBay flips um, eight months ago, nine months ago, right when I first started. Like pro products that you don't see on eBay for a discount are on Macari for a discount and on offer up ship for a discount too. <laughs> so those are great places to start if you're a beginner or you're just looking to jump into this business model. Maybe even an like, expert in Amazon. It's still a great way to start. That is awesome. I'll definitely have to look. I've, I've looked into Macari. I've mainly been focusing on offer up and eBay. But like I mentioned, I'm definitely trying to expand because there's money everywhere. You, you just, you just got to go out there and spend the time and find it. Um, so I want to I want people to watch more of your content because like you are like the OG of eBay to Amazon flips. And do you, you, have, you mentioned you have a YouTube channel, right? Yep, the YouTube channel. It's called LaCroix, L-A-C-R-O-I. 
it's the same thing. It's the same thing as our software as well. Um, I'm not gonna pitch the software. It's, it's the shit, but uh, I think that's going out. But it, it, <laughs> um, just in general. But uh, yeah, Lacroix.io. Guess I'll check this out. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. All right, so I'm actually gonna have Ty's YouTube channel linked below. He's got a ton of videos talking about everything, how he's grown his business, strategies, tips, products. If you're interested in growing your Amazon reselling business and really scaling it, definitely check out his YouTube. I'll have a link below in the description of this video. Anyways, Ty, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to do this interview. I know I really appreciate it. I know everyone that's watching this video. It's definitely going to appreciate it. And if you guys want to see me bring on Ty onto the YouTube channel again to talk more about Amazon reselling and how to hit some insane numbers selling products on Amazon, then please like this video. Um, comment below if you have any questions regarding anything Ty um, was talking about earlier. Um, we'll do our best to answer your comments. And if you guys want to see more content just like this on how you can create an additional stream of income online, then subscribe to this channel. I'll see everyone in the next video.